The idea behind the Clouds project um, is an investigation into um, ambient information displays and how we can use these to change people's behaviour. And in particular, we're interested in changing people's behaviour um, at the point of decision making. You can see that a large um, typical display has been set up that's giving um, different feeds of information depending upon what they choose to put on it. Um, but also in this space, right up in this, this uh, area, will be our large ambient display. Our large ambient display is going to also be sort of pumping a constant feed of information, but the piece of information is going to be much smaller. Our ambient display is going to simply be telling you are people using the stairs or the elevator. And the more that people use the elevators, the higher the, the orange cloud of spheres rises. And the more people that are using the stairs, the higher the gray cloud of spheres is rising. And so walking in the building, someone can quickly glance and have this, this single piece of information given to them whether they wanted it or not. As people enter in through the Ginny Lee building, the first thing that they're going to notice is right up in this airspace, there's going to be this large collection of spheres hanging. This is the first. So it is a series of strategically placed uh, pressure pads throughout the building. We have these pressure pads at the beginning of every stairwell and at the entrance to every elevator. And this is simply taking a counting of the number of footsteps across this threshold. So if somebody goes up the stairs, we add one. If somebody goes in the elevator, we add one. This is a visualization showing what we've been getting from our pressure pads throughout the building. Um, what we're using this for is to compare the different people's uh, usage of the stairs versus the lifts and also as a way to try to get an early idea of what our structure is going to look like. There's a sweet spot that we're looking for. There's information that's too aggressive, uh, you can't help but see it, and then there's information that's too subtle, um, you never notice it's there. So we're really looking for the best way to design information that is useful but non-distracting and non-intrusive. Uh, the question is, how do we do it? Or how does the uh, large atrium outside tell you a piece of information that might be of use to you um, without just slapping it on yet another screen and hanging it in the environment? So there's two things that we need to find from this project. One is whether or not people are capable of receiving the piece of information in the way we're delivering it. Second thing we need to find out is how they're using that information. So if we tell a bunch of people that their colleagues are all using the elevators, uh, will they start using the stairs? If we see this change of behavior happen, then we know they're receiving the information and we know in some way the display is effective.